Hi there, everybody. Thank you for joining us at St Mary's Stadium in Southampton today, the venue for our game, which Alan Smith will describe along with me, Martin Tyler. Southampton in action today against Cardiff City. Number 44, Fraser Foster. Number three. Away from home, Alan, this team, who are the visitors today, have been struggling, and that record is deplorable, really. Yeah, two wins in 12 games. Thomas Muller. Number 13, Neil Malpe. And number 15, Sam Gallagher. Here's the Southampton team for you. Looking at the lineup, he's got all the components in place, hasn't he? The manager for the pressing style of play has been a feature of his team. Yep, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. Here's the 11 fielded by Cardiff City today. Responsibility for some of those five in midfield to get forward, and uh, I'm sure the, the main striker won't be isolated, although it looks a bit like that on our screens. Yeah, he could be a lonely man up top there if he doesn't get the support that uh, he needs, because he is the type Thank of player you. that does need support. He can't do it all on his own. Southampton, they'll be looking for another win. They played so well last time out, it was an away victory against Burnley. They'd finished 1-0, it was quite a, a close run affair. But I think they are capable of following up with another win today. Well, there's the first whistle, and the game is underway. He's got to clear it now. He's got it away. Whipped in from the wide area. Went with the header, and he's good in the air too, but not quite good enough then. Bit unfortunate. Next time, maybe he'll bury it. Couldn't keep it down. It was uh, a useful position he found himself in. No, he didn't, and his technique has let him down badly there. James Tavernier. intercepted it's looking good this move tackle goes in the break is definitely on well sometimes these opportunities can come too early and maybe this is one of them yeah maybe just caught cold there wasn't expecting the chance to land at his feet and made a mess of it position no nonsense defending from him now this is an interesting attack that's good work by the referee he's given the free kick but no sign of the card maybe he just wants to make sure he's not made a rod for his own back with an early booking he's normally good from these set plays and uh his teammates are expecting a good ball in. Headed it well, just wide. Well, not far wide at all. Next time, maybe he'll bury it up. It's going to be a throw-in after that tackle. Oriol Romeo. It's a good place to win the ball here. With great vision here. Just the keeper to beat. And shoots! Not really tested the goalkeeper, but sometimes it can look a bit too easy. He made sure he made the save competently. Yeah, he did, and he doesn't make too many mistakes, this lad. 
looking for teammates in the middle trying to lift it over the nearest defender and he couldn't he's in Muller the shot's up corner now for Southampton corner played in definitely destined for the goalkeeper and he makes it his as for Southampton well this is a game they can win they'll have to be playing at their very best if they are to win it Murphy really in the clear now really hit well but didn't trouble the goalkeeper yeah maybe a little sighter for him there What we've got here is a chance for the home team to do the double over their opponents today, Alan. Yeah, they made a statement, Martin, didn't they, with that earlier win on the way Terra Tree, and it was a really good performance. Saw them to put them in front. That's the breakthrough. It's been a very good start to this game, and they've got the goal that really their football has suggested would come. You wonder whether missing chances would leave them regretting those misses, but now they've opened the scoring and you would feel that they'll go on and win from here. Just a word on the goal scorer, you have to get there to get the chance, and credit him for that. Well, I think the keeper, you know, he's entitled to ask why his defenders didn't react as quickly as the goal scorer. He'd done his bit, he'd made the initial save. Well, it's been tight before that goal, but now the manager, he's so pleased because I reckon he feels his team can go on and win this. So it's Southampton with the lead. Goal for Southampton. Gunnison. Number 23. Patterson. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. And here they are on the attack. This might be it. Super reef. Well, they managed to get out of harm's way then because it looked as though there was going to be some real damage done to them. Oh, the crowd loving this, seeing their team piling on the pressure. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. Bamba. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. This is the kind of uh, pitch that I think attacking players favour, Alan, don't they? I think they do, yeah, because uh, it means mistakes from defenders and, uh, you know, a little bit of miscontrol, loss of footing and uh, you're in. Oriol Romeo, Pierre-Emile Hoybjerg. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Shots on here. And that's gone behind for a corner. Well, here comes the corner. There was the opportunity to extend this lead. Yeah, he took it early. Maybe a bit too early, as it turned out. Every manager wants his team to be ruthless, and that was such an opportunity. No wonder he's unhappy at that miss. James Tavernier. Patterson. In comes the challenge. Oriol Romeo. Put into the middle. He worked hard to get the cross in, but it didn't reach any of his teammates arriving in the middle. 
Elianusi. Here's Hoiberg. Nice bit of footwork from the attacker. And now the shot! It's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. So we'll restart with a throw-in. of the most uh, southern football clubs in England, Southampton. And this is a relatively new home for them, St Mary Stadium. Well, they've enjoyed some good times in recent years when you think of Pochettino's season and then Ronald Koeman, success he enjoyed. I'd be hoping they can continue that. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Gunnarsson. Save. This is a test of his footwork, the goalkeeper. Indicated to, with good vision. Three Brilliant pass, can he finish it? Well, I think this team needs the support of the crowd today, and they're getting it because uh, they really should have conceded there. Striding forward, purposefully. Well, oh, that's good defending. Couldn't hold on to the ball. Well, the referee has signaled for half time, and it's 1 0 here. Well, the manager must be tearing his hair out because, again, they've let themselves down on the road. Yeah, once again, we've seen it so often too many sloppy mistakes at the back. Well, the rain has lashed down all through half-time. It is relentless, and I just wonder how much more the pitch can take. Well, I don't know who the lad saw there passing the ball. Somebody in the crowd, maybe. Patterson. Good answer. Sloppy work, really. And here they are, on the attack. Only partially away from danger. Patterson. Murphy. Reed. Murphy. Probing the pass. And the pass not completed, really. Well, those fans haven't seen the ball up this end for ages, it seems. A chance here, though. Good delivery into the box. Chance for an equaliser. Corner played into the middle. Out into the wide areas now. Could see what he was trying to do, but the defender in the way. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. That's an excellent cross. Trying to cross it, and in the end, a bit of a waste, I think. Break quickly when they get possession. Hit. It's a foul by the Southampton player. It's yellow from the ref. Oh, without question. <laughs> Off the bar. Back into play. Keeper has reached it and rescued his side. He's trying to catch the player in possession. Could easily have been even Stevens, but if they keep on playing how they are, it won't be far away, that equaliser. Elianusi. Well, they are behind, so it's time for a change. They've got to try and improve their performance somehow. Bamba, James Tavernier, here's Omaruo, Patterson, here's Reed. Well, he's cut that out well, well read. 
And maybe the counter-attack is on here. The shot's on! Oh, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly. Well, just a chance to tell you about a confirmed transfer here. Mats Hummels has moved to Manchester City. Well, he doesn't come cheap, about £60 million, pounds, but he is the kind of player that can make a difference. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Chance to put it in the box from here. Good clearance. He's got his shot off now. A good hit at it, but I'm afraid that was off the radar. A goal from uh, Huddersfield. It's a goal for Arsenal. It's been scored by Alexandre Lacazette. A magical run beating three defenders before slotting home. 65 minutes played, 1 0. Thank you very much, Alan. Willer. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. This might be it. Oh, what a fine goal. They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable. And they're good value for this advantage at the moment. The service came from wide and it created the chance that was taken. They know what they're getting with their wide players in this team and you can always make your runs with a lot of assurance. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Here's Omaruo, Patterson, and the away team want to make a change. What we've got on EA Sports very soon for you, the presentation of the FA Cup fixture for Southampton. They'll be facing Manchester City away from home. Now the shot! Hit the post! Looking for Muller. Read the play well to intercept. What about Cardiff City in their next game, Alan? They're playing Leicester City in their next match in the FA Cup. And looking at them, there's little between the two sides. Cleared away by the defender. We've given it straight to the opposition. In with a chance. Here's the chance. Well done, the goalkeeper. He was really exposed. Yeah, it was a good break, and you did fancy the player bearing down on goal, but fair play to the keeper. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. On to Muller. Stopping the pass, getting through with a good piece of anticipation. We can go to Alamakanali now for news of a goal from elsewhere. It's a goal for Newcastle United. 78 minutes played, 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. This could be it. It must be. He really fancied him to score, but the goalkeeper kept his beliefs and kept him out. Yeah, I mean, he'd be asking where his defenders were, but come at the hour, he stepped up there, didn't he, the keeper? It's the kind of challenge that, when you're carrying a yellow card, carries a bit of risk, too much risk for him here. He's sent off. Yeah, as soon as he went into it, I thought he was in trouble, and I think he realised that as well. He's put in the corner. Reaching for it a little bit with the header, and that's the expected result. Back to the training ground, I think. Yes, it was a goal for Newcastle United, Alan McAnally with that uh, short break there because I had to cut across him, I'm afraid, because of what was going on here. The score is now 1-0. He's aimed it in towards the front post. Well, we've been waiting for this. Perhaps he could have done it a bit earlier, you know, the extra striker. Yeah, the crowd were, were baying for the striker to come on. So they've got the wish now.
corner played in. Oh, he's got it off the line. That's amazing defending. Oh, that's what defenders are for when the goalkeeper's beaten, and he was there. He's got a chance to cross. Put into the middle. They should win now, shouldn't they? 2 0 here, not much time to go. What impact will that have on the next game? Well, Southampton go up against Manchester City. The way they've played out here today, they'll be full of confidence, I think. Some quality in this Cardiff City attack. He's looking for the cross. Well, he's gone in a bit on the wild side. And trying to get in the face of the opposition, this team, but it's come at a cost, hasn't it? Sending off yellow card, another yellow here. Yeah, I mean, uh, they have got a track record at times of uh, poor disciplinary record, and uh, it's shown itself today. Well, he can't go for goal, but it is a dangerous situation, this, because uh, if he gets it on the money, it's going to be hard to defend against. Shots on here. Well, that's wide and well wide, too. Yeah, it's wide and it's wild. We're down now to the final two minutes of the 90. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Got in the way. Not really away from the threat here. Bamba. Here's Omaruo. Put in from the wide area. It's a weak cross, really, not getting past the first defender. Only partially away from danger. Well, the header was going in, but it was pretty straightforward for the keeper to stop that happening. Yeah, he's... It's finished now with the final whistle. Well, this goes against the conventional football wisdom, doesn't it? To win the game with less players than the opposition, Fantastic effort. It just goes to show if you keep your heads, if you reorganize, you can still be a force. They certainly proved that out here. They've fought hard here. You can see they've been working on their tactics for these away games, but it's another defeat. Yeah, it's beginning to become a real millstone around the next this record. They've got to turn it around quickly.